what's going on guys so i just did my bass mystery vet tackle box unboxing video uh, last week i just got my trout and panfish box in the mail today let's take a look because as you guys have known the last few boxes i've gotten i've not been that crazy about so i have two months left in my subscription it's getting pretty important as uh get these last couple months because i'm about to make a decision if this one's not very good i'm probably going to cancel it if this one's great probably renew for another six months so let's take a look again i just got this yesterday which is the latest i've ever got a box which i don't care i don't care when i get it i just care about what's inside let's take a look all right dibble does anyone actually read this no nope, didn't think so okay we have the uh, what's in the box card first things first we have carl's amazing bait spark plug okay let's see here here we go Carl's Amazing Baits Spark Plug. There's a little crankbait, green with some spots on the top. That dives, let's see here, one to four feet, perfect. Hooks are a little big, but that's okay. Probably better for a crappie, big perch. Not bad, okay, I'll take it. Next we have Lip Rippers Trout Worms. Okay. Lip Rippers Trout Worms. And you can see that says it's floating. This is fine. I have no issue with this. Problem is it's almost late June. Trout usually go to much cooler waters. I don't usually fish for trout in the warm weather, which is fine. I'll hold, a, I'll hold on to these until the fall or you know, early spring. Those look kind of cool. I'll give those a shot probably just wacky rig it if you guys have any tips on how to rig these hit me up in the comments let me know because i'm new to using anything like this here but not bad at all okay next we have euro tackle stonefly and i've heard a lot about these euro tackle stuff but i haven't actually gotten any yet okay can you see those there little tiny rubber flies 1.2 inches Honestly, I have no idea how I would use these. Under a bobber? No idea. Interesting though. If you guys, once again, if you know how to use these, if you've used them before, let me know. I'm eager to hear all you guys' tips. Next, Lucky John Trutino. Okay. Lucky John, or is it Troutino? No idea. What is this? Strong shrimp scent. Okay. How does it work? Salty material, trout and rockfish special. Okay, don't fish for rockfish. How would you guys rig this on a hook? A jig head, a little tiny drop magnet jig head is what I'm guessing. This looks like it'll catch fish. Just almost looks more like something I would use ice fishing. What do you guys think? I like it though. I'll give it a shot. Next we have Leland Laura's fin spin. Okay. These are cool. These are little underspin hooks. Look at the size of those hooks though. Those things are huge. These would probably pair well with a good three inch gulp minnow. Anything smaller than that, you might run into issues. These are very big hooks. I'm not sure about these. I'll give them a shot, but these look like they're more for bass. No issues though. And then last but not least, we have bait rig bait holder hooks. Okay, three out of the five months I've done this, I've gotten hooks. How many hooks do we need? Mix it up, Mr. Tackle Box, this is ridiculous. I have probably 50 hooks from you guys from five months. How many hooks do you think I go through in a week? A year, <laughs> those will last me two years. But everything else in that box is good. Oh, and they did not give me a sticker this month, which whatever, they're usually kind of weird anyways. But it's a pretty good month, it's not great, but a lot of trout stuff, and I'm kind of disappointed in that sense because I don't fish for trout in June. But maybe I should, I don't know. Do, do you guys fish for trout in June? Usually when the water gets hot, they pretty much hard to catch. So what do you guys think? Hit me up in the comments, hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to hearing from you. 